Hello and welcome to another one of my Too Fat to Ride vlogs where me and my mare Hope are on a real fitness journey to get healthier, lose some weight and to be able to go riding again and well let's face it I would love to take you over the valleys and hills and through the countryside with me. Now this week I wanted to talk about something that has really affected me over the last couple of weeks without even knowing about it really and I wondered maybe some of you are affected by this too. You see just lately I've realised that I've been using some really negative and yeah some really upsetting words about myself and my weight loss journey and I've realised that that's actually hindering me. I guess it's a little bit like self-fulfilling prophecies. If you tell yourself you can't do something, then ultimately you're not going to be able to do whatever that thing is. Well, actually, I've come to realise that that affects whether we can lose weight, whether we can do anything, whether we can set the goals that we set ourselves and ultimately without goals then what's the point you know we get up every morning we go to work we sort out the children we you know we get along with our daily lives cooking dinner and well waiting to just go back to bed because you're so tired so you do need your goals and for those of you that have been following along with our weight loss journey and have been joining in yourself which is absolutely amazing thank you because it really does help us spur us on and keep us going i've been completely overwhelmed by how many people have said that they are also joining us on this weight loss process and you've been putting in the comments how much weight you've lost as well which is amazing thank you so what i'm going to do with this video and probably every other one of these vlogs from now on is i'm going to put a pinned post in the comments so that you can add how much weight you've lost this week and you know what tell me about your off the scale wins as well what have you been able to achieve this week that you couldn't achieve last week because you are getting fitter and you are getting healthier me for one i bought this gilet a couple of weeks ago it's a size smaller than i would usually wear and i thought oh am i gonna be able to get that on oh i can get it on i couldn't do it up as you can see but i could get it on and let's face it that's a win-win for me it also means i've dropped two dress sizes so yeah i want to talk about how we have this innate ability to talk ourselves down and how to not fully process or fully appreciate the wins that we've had and just this journey alone I can see now that Hope has lost a tremendous amount of weight and that is such a positive because she's getting fitter, she's getting healthier. But there was a time when I really thought that the scale of this task was so huge that I couldn't do this. And I did think to myself, you're a failure and you're failing hope because she's put on so much weight and you didn't notice because you've been so consumed about fixing this place and making it habitable and i've let her down but let's face it there's no way i'd actually say that to someone else so why am i saying it to myself yes you have to be honest with yourself but what could i have said instead what i should have done is reminded myself about the amazing things that we've done already, what we've been able to achieve, how we've turned this place into something safe. And we rescued baby Dream. We saved him from slaughter. So all these things are amazing. I've got a 44 year old blind pony that is still going strong. And he's got stables now and all this shelter that he never had before hopes on a proper weight loss program and i'm able to do that because i have her 
living arrangement sorted and she's happy. So to really help Hope on her fitness journey, I took her this week to Claire Dyson's underwater treadmill and rehabilitation centre. She had the most incredible time there. She went on the solarium. It's warm in here, Dopey. Well done. Good girl. And even on the Vita floor, which is a vibrating floor that strengthens their legs and really, really relaxes them. So here's a little snippet of that footage. And I've also made a full length video. It is like 27 minutes long, but it's so worth watching, especially if you're into the, is it AM, ASMR? Yeah? Because I tell you what, when she was walking through that water, huh, sounded amazing. So yeah, you might think it's a really good thing to give yourself a good talking to, get yourself back on track. But actually, I think it impacts you negatively. And this week, I've really struggled, really struggled with the diet and trying to make the right choices. And when I went in to get weighed this week, and I was thinking, oh my God, gosh this is going to be bad and I actually thought about not doing it not standing on that scale how ridiculous is that and then Madge my wonderful white watchers coach at the meeting said oh and I thought half a pound really oh. so yeah I hadn't made all the right choices and yeah, I'd had some crusty bread because let's face it, crusty bread is the most wonderful. Oh, but, but on the other days, I had made some good choices and I had tried and I knew I had tried deep down, but you know, I was just beating myself up as usual because I'm a perfectionist and it's what I do. So how do we get around this then? What do we do? You know, how do we put the love back into our personal conversations with ourselves? Instead of saying that you can't do something, why not say, yeah, I can't do that yet. Add the word yet to the end. Yeah, I can't run five kilometres. Okay. I can't run five kilometres yet. In a world where you can literally be anything nowadays, and the fact that I now seem to be a YouTuber really does uh, bring that one home. You know, be kind. And be kind to yourself. I think it's time that we change our mind frame, our state of mind to where I can't do this. Becomes I can. I can do this and I am doing this. So now, being more positive, with the £15 that I had lost at my last weigh-in and my half a pound that I've lost this week, that's £15.5. £15.5. That is incredible because you know what? I can do this and hope 
can lose the weight and yes we will get fitter and we will be able to go riding and go on the lorry somewhere fabulous take all our cameras and the drone and take you with us try to focus on the off the scale wins the things that are improving in your life since you've been on this journey and let's face it it doesn't have to be anything major. Mm -hmm.